Today, we are starting a painting. I have finally kind of figured out the direction that I want to take my art. I have been kind of all over the place, but I think I finally have honed in on what I want to do and it's time to just execute it. So, follow me for a while, you know that I just did a commission for a museum. During that process, I learned a lot about my creative flow, me as an artist, and just what brings me motivation and inspiration. Here will be, it'll tell the story basically. So, that's what we're going to get started today. I'm so excited. Do you guys have like a pre-painting ritual? Because mine is applying chapstick. <laughs> Before I start painting, I have to put chapstick on. The most random thing I know, but like, I just have to. <laughs> It's such a good feeling when you're in a slump for a while and you get out of it and like finally find something that you're like excited about. Oh, it's such a good feeling. <laughs> I have to be totally transparent for a second. I have been in such a funk lately. Um, I haven't been painting like I should or really doing anything like I should. <laughs> I haven't even been inspired to create and I've just been stuck in my bed, depressed, anxious, just stuck really. But lately, after a long day, I have been looking at sunsets. And they are my favorite thing right now. And it makes me feel like I am recharging. I'm going to leave it today because I need to go to the store tomorrow. I just went to Home Depot and got some painting stuff. Stuff I actually really needed because I, I want to get a better palette. I recently took an oil painting class, which I've shown on my social media before. But I use a glass palette for that and like mixing and just getting the colors to be exactly what I need them to do. I love it on glass. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Got this to scrape off my excess because I have this tiny one that just, it doesn't get the job done, you know? <laughs> so I need to get a new one and perfect timing. I put this back in. So just gonna go ahead and start painting. I get so lost in staring at sunsets. So this piece, I wanted to show that beautiful sunset and how it f is recharging her. I don't know about you, but I do my best work at night and. I feel like when the sun is going down, it's just, I don't know, a reminder to my body like that it's time for me to thrive. <laughs> and I want to convey how beautiful that experience is for me. Transitioning to oil painting has helped me with different techniques and where I want to take my art. Even though this is an acrylic painting, I want it to feel like an oil painting. I feel like I'm entering into a new era. I still struggle with imposter, sy imposter syndrome, but I feel like I'm finally coming into my own and finding my art style. I want to push the boundaries every time I paint. I get so scared to mess up my paintings, but I'm starting to 
like the fixing part and messing up and figuring something else out. It really has helped my confidence when it comes to my art. I don't know about you, but when I start painting, I like to use the first five to seven days to just have fun. I mean, the whole process is fun, but this is the rough sketch, loose brush strokes and messy blending. It's so important for me to get the jitters out I feel like when I let loose and just create for me, I always find inspiration in the flaws. In multiple paintings I've done, I made a wrong stroke or a color choice that wasn't planned but ran with it because it actually turned out to be my favorite part of the painting. And it happens more often than I thought it would that a mistake could actually turn out to be the best part of the piece. So I try not to put so much pressure on my art anymore. Obviously I go into it with plans and there's things that I would like to accomplish when it comes to pieces but I'm really trying to let go of the expectations of my painting and just enjoy the process because I love the process of painting. Um, it's like a math equation. Art to me is a math equation, you know, adding more of this, taking away more of that to finally get the end result. So it's been such an amazing experience doing this painting. I'm not even close to being done. Like I haven't done that much since a couple months ago if we're being honest but um i just been so busy with other projects and stuff and i have i am putting my art in a shop like it's in the shop now so it was just a lot going on but i will be filming more of me painting this piece but i feel like once i gained that inspiration back to create it kind of like something in my brain just clicked like this is about creating it's not about the final the final piece it doesn't even matter if I don't have the inspiration like I love to create I love to paint I love to get out my emotions my frustrations my anxieties so I just have to remember that when I'm in like a lull moment where I feel unmotivated and uninspired that just doing anything can inspire you like for me specifically if I just start creating the inspiration will come and I think that it's really important to find inspiration in things that you might have not, you know, taken into account before. So the mistakes of a piece or like, you know, the wrong color choice, like run with it, see where it could take you. Like art is supposed to be fun and there's no rules to art. There's no permanent consequences. Like I've said before, you can do whatever you want. And at the beginning of this voiceover, like I recorded that the beginning of this months ago, like when I first did this, I recorded that and I was just not in a good headspace. But, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. My goal today is just making sure that the clouds are blended well. If I can get the sky semi done today, I will be happy and I'll focus on like the water maybe tomorrow. But my goal today is literally just to focus on the sky blend and enjoy the, my process. Recently, I got diagnosed with ADHD and it really changed my whole entire life. <laughs> I have struggled with my mental health um, my whole life and I never really understood why. Like I could never grasp like getting better and now I know why is because I had ADHD this whole time and I will do a separate video about that. But it really has given me a new perspective on my art and and the inspiration behind it. I didn't think that it would be a blessing, but it actually has been. It's changed, like I said, it's changed my whole life. And I'll do another video about like everything later on. But yeah, it's definitely changed my mindset when it comes to my art and the type of art that I want to do. So stay tuned for that, guys, because I'm so excited about it. So I have to go get my kid to go take her to a disappoint a what? A dentist appointment. I'm gonna end it right here for now and I'll come back to it later. I didn't finish the sky, but I took off the tape because it kept messing me up. So I took it off and it's been so much more help. And I also started the water, so that's what she's looking like so far. I'm really obsessed with the sky. Like 
I'm really starting to see the vision come to life. I think when I come back, I'm gonna start working on her face again because she looks like an angry person. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna work on her face a little bit and give her hair a chance to dry before I continue. But yeah, that's what she's looking like so far.